Hey there YouTube, welcome back to my second GOAT Format Live video. It has been a hot, hot minute since I've played this format, since I've really done anything Yu Gi Oh related. I've been extremely busy at work, but today I thought it'd be fun to bring GOAT Spirits. So they're really. You got his band, so I think there's only really three notable spirits being Azur Priest, who's really good, Tsukiyomi, is really good, and Susa Soldier, who has great art, not a great effect. Great attack, but a lot to prove. So what really made me want to build this deck was Creature Swap. I think Creature Swap is just a fun card. I was actually just toying around some of my TG stuff that I have in real life. So Creature Swap with things like Sangans, Spirits, Scapegoats, um, a lot of fun. So I imagine, uh, I don't know, I kind of wanted to support them. I originally had Gravekeepers in the lineup, but I decided I want to go a bit more aggro. You see like a big bang shot here. That is because I decided to add Abyss Soldier. I was thinking about putting in Premature Burial, but really nothing notable to bring back outside the Chaos Monsters, and I guess Abyss Soldier? I could do it. I'm not opposed to it. I could take out one of the Sakus or Dust Tornado, but I wanted the three Sakus, so that way I could be a little bit more aggressive with my Spirit Monsters, and these would theoretically protect me. Um, same thing with like the Book of Moons. And then I fit in a Metamorphosis Engine. You see down here, that's all I have. I really I have zero want to include anything else. I should include more fusions. It takes all 30 seconds, but nah. So originally, like I said, I didn't have a Gravekeeper Engine. I ended up substituting that out in lieu of Big Bang Shot along with Abyss Soldier. I also chose Mataza the Zapper because I think having that double attack will be pretty beneficial. And also that deck that topped months and months and months ago, or maybe even won the GFC. It ran triple Mataza the Zapper. So I thought, hey, let's go ahead and I'll try it out too. DD Warrior Lady I'm playing not only as a light, but it also just can act as like, and I, I was thinking in a moment where I have like a DD Warrior and a Azura Priest, if I have all my spirit or any spirit really and it returns back to my hand, DD Warrior Lady can leave them in a rather, I guess, awkward position to say the least. So I went ahead and tossed this in. I am missing no amount of cross out and that's actually something I'm noticing right now. So how do I want to do this? So I have double goats, so actually I can go ahead and drop this. I'll drop a Sakuretsu, and I'll put in Nobleman. I am expecting to play... Let's try again. Just a lot of like, not even goat control, because those aren't popular, but nothing but Thunder Dragon Chaos. And I think Nobleman can hit them pretty hard in turn one. So if I wanted to beat Thunder Dragon Chaos, Dust Tornado is probably not a good card. I'd want something more along the lines of Smashing Ground, which <laughs> if you've been watching my videos, you know I have absolutely fallen in love with Smashing Ground. But Dust Tornado opens up the road for Metamorphosis to work a little bit better. So I I guess I'll keep it as if. If I wanted to hit the actual Chaos Monsters, I'd be running like Bottomless Trap Holes or, I don't know, Priority kind of kills Thousand Eyes Restrict against really anything Chaos, but Thunder Dragon Chaos specifically. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it as it is like this. Um, do I want to add Premature Burial over maybe even Book of Moon? Hmm. Nope, no more changes. Let's go ahead and save like I think I already did. I'm going to set as default. And let's go ahead and see if I can't find a fun game. Like I said, it, it has been... Let's see if there's anyone who wants to play. It has been a long long time since I played. There's actually a lot of names on here, so I guess I could start clicking on them. Maybe they'll accept it, but let's try that. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Work has been absolutely beating me down. Riki Tiki, I think I recognize that name. Hmm. I wonder if they're trying to play each other. I don't think Riki Tiki is accepting anyone stupid name we'll give him like three seconds oh there he is and let's go hi your name is clever so it should be clever name and this wow that's an awkward hand could be a very good hand based on what he's playing. Unless he hits me with that really strong turn one duo. Oh shoot, I think I forgot to add duo to my deck. <laughs> I don't know if I'm playing duo. Uh, maybe it won't matter this match, hopefully. First, 
Let's see if I can't convince him to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and start turn. Um, standby phase, nothing, main phase one. He gave us absolutely nothing to rely on. So let's just start with a zero priest. Let's see who's got. Nothing. I don't think he really has a good back row um, against a zero priest right now. I would hope he uses Sakuretsu armors or whatever. If he had bottomless trap pull, that would be good. Oh, why did I? Oh, that is cool. That is super cool. So here's what I'm gonna do. If that's a dust tornado, oh, what do I wanna do? So actually, Manet's really good. Manet's phenomenal because you get to play it in twos, right? And it just gets to keep searching itself. A lot of people, when they play Manet, they think they have to play three, but that is also one of the cards I thought about putting in this deck is that Gravekeeper's Five because you just play two and just keeps recycling itself over and over and over and becomes like infinite discard fodder and all kinds of things. Manet's a very powerful, very underrated card. But, oh. Okay, I'll take 17. I'll exchange 1700s. I think I'll come out on top if we just do this back and forth. Oh. But that's good because I just got my plus one, so... My Azur Priest. Oh no! Did he just top that? That's unfortunate. That just put him really far ahead. That put him really far ahead. Yeah, so I figured that was like a Book of Moon or something. The reason I said it really didn't matter was because Book of Moon, with him having Sangan on the field against Azur Priest, does absolutely nothing to him or for him. But. Oh, baby. That is so lucky. That is... That top deck is one of the reasons I don't like going for it. But let's see if I can't... <gasps> that's not great. <laughs> um, that's not great. Do I want to... What do I want to do? Do I want to... Can I win with BLS right now? see snatch deal BLS is what 43 I think I think I think I just want to summon a Zer priest battle phase get some damage in off this and maybe I'll search like Nudoria because saying it's already gone Do I even want to set Dust Tornado? This is interesting. I don't think I... I'm expecting him to summon Manet. I think I will set Dust Tornado and bank on him not hitting BLS out of my hand. So I'll do two hand and enter. Hopefully he doesn't get the one out of five and I just go for game next turn. Oh, he ripped his pot agreed to. So maybe he'll have a slow hand and just go summon Manet, attack. Discard one of my cards, preferably Sukiyomi. Oh, no. He's just... Okay. What will he do, though? Oh, he will summon the Manet. Oh, 1,000. Okay. I was playing whole Dark Scorpions. Or maybe not whole, just at least some. Cliff is also pretty good. And... Do I want to do this? I think that's game. Standby phase, main phase one, normal summoning tribe. Two graveyard call zombies. Go in here. Banish. Banish. BLS. Yep, so it played out exactly as I thought it would. And that's game. And 
people off for rematch. Uh, I don't like saying GG after one game unless they know that they're gonna quit. I like waiting after a match. I don't know. Um, did I add do? Okay, I did. <laughs> Maybe I forgot to add that, but don't have sides. We're just trying to get, get in and get out. So we saw a Zero Priest, which just does normal Zero Priest things. I really want to get to, um, I really want to get to summon Susa Soldier in. Another just like great cards, but another just super opera hand. Hmm. Normally I'm super against using turn one Graceful Charity or Graceful Charity when you don't have any cards, realistically, any discards, but this hand's super awkward. That did not help tremendously. Um, again, all great cards, but I'm thinking of just discarding double metas. I'm about it. That, maybe even Chaos Sorcerer, actually. I do run a lot of decks. I think Chaos Sorcerer can win me a game. I don't think Meta's going to do a lot. Let's go ahead and use this. We'll blast whatever that is. Ooh. Ooh. We'll number some rounds. In battle phase and attack. Maybe it's Panay. So I'll take 300. He'll get a search. I hope he can still win this game. What does this do? Just can activate this looks about one turn one spell trap card, destroy that. Some, okay, so that's yeah, it's definitely not a bad card. It'd be a cool side deck card. I don't even know if I'll miss up both of those. want to snatch steal of this soldier because I okay yeah, his stuff's like he's just not having a good time right now so I'm just going for it destroy that normal summon you activate you I'm just going for it to be honest I don't think I really lose anything and hopefully he doesn't have gores if he does have gores we'll start attacking weakest to strongest All oh, that was me, huh? All oh, 25 was both of those. Duh. Okay. Now let's see if he summons Cliff and attacks, which case I'm just gonna soccer into. Yeah, I just I don't think his hand is even remotely powerful. Okay, there it is. Battle phase. Actually, will he attack her? But it's gonna get destroyed anyway, so let's go ahead and soccer into. Standby phase, maybe phase one, shuffle, <laughs> that was an amazing draw, abyss effect, we're gonna go to graveyard to top deck that, or put back in his hand. Let's go ahead and switch you to defense, battle phase. Hopefully, if he mirror forces, I wouldn't even be mad. Doesn't bother me one bit. He's got ring. I assume he's using on you. So we'll take that. I'll enter that. still beat me. 
sure you can. Start tuning, standby phase. So let's switch you. I probably just set Book of Moon again, actually. Which case, battle phase attack. Because I don't want to set Big Bang Shot just for him to. Yeah, okay. Set, and then I guess I'll attack. I don't really see a reason not to. Okay. Big phase two, I'm going to set you. Enter. And that big bang shot could win me the game. We'll see. My snatch deal could <laughs> also bring him back into the game. We'll see. Oh, he's got an open. Perfect. Okay. Good. So I'm glad he targeted that. I really didn't have much of a reason for Serpent. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just really wanted to protect my warrior lady, but that's funny. Okay. So standby phase, main phase one, flip summon, battle phase, attack, and attack. So he'll take his thousand. And I'll set you. He still has Heavy Storm, so that would be pretty good for him if he gets it. Like, more power to him if he gets Heavy Storm. Nothing? Okay. I hope he has Mirror Force. Standby phase, main phase one. Flip summon. So it's not Torrent. Let's just go for it. Attack and attack. It's like Retu, so... I'll take a thousand. Ah, I could have book a moon. Maybe that was the right play. Oh well, we'll never know. I think book a moon was definitely the right play. Maybe he doesn't want to lose to Nobleman? I could have put Exile Force in this deck, huh? Hey. Hey. That's Japanese for hey. Okay. Standby phase, main phase one. And normal summon. Battle phase. Attack and attack. Seventeen and fourteen. Main phase two. Wishing I had that a uh, big bang shot right about now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and activate this. Swap. Change control. Gives me his tomato. Maybe here I want to let it die. I take a hundred, huh? That, why didn't he switch his Reaper to attack mode? Okay, here I'm gonna book a moon. Because I do need this priest in hand. <laughs> I got the trifecta of spirits. No. Oh no. It's okay. Um, he probably won't switch that Reaper to attack mode anyways because his, his life points are dangerously low and Azur Priest. Actually, really, any strong top deck monster just kind of beats him. What is happening? Oops. Main phase one. There we go. This is extremely unfortunate. I have a lot of cards I can draw. Maybe I should rent triple Big Bang Shot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dueling Book has some really messed up formulas, huh? Unas. What's that, Susa? 
That's some good defense. 1600. Stone Book has some really jacked up formulas. Is that a Biscuit? I think it is. Okay. Is that game? Normal summon? Battle phase? Oh, shoot. Ah, I take a hundred. So what, if that is, let's see. Don't be Dust Tornado or MST. And I think I just won. Oh, man. See what he says. I think you do. I'm pretty certain you do take damage because Reaper's no longer on the field and just get destroyed. It's like Book of Moon flips it down or something before it gets destroyed. So Ring destroys it and then inflicts damage. I'm not sure how much it'll matter anyways. Unless that Reaper was his dark, in which case, oh, it didn't matter. No. Oh no. I do have is another Asusa soldier to battle phase. Attack you. Main phase two, set this. Unfortunately, I do not have Battle Fader, so I will take all damage. Let's see. Come on. Main phase one. Normal summon, battle phase, attack. What could this be? I got a book. That's interesting. What? He didn't flip it last turn. That's very. Maybe he'll banish. And I'll live one more turn. What I do have is escape the bolts. So we're gonna activate this prop in two, three. Start turn. Standby phase. Main phase one. Normal summon. Battle phase. Attack. I think that was also a minute form. I think that was the other one they searched. Yeah. And he's got why does he have so many? Two goals to win and no man of extermination, dude. And he works his pot of greed. Good for him. Oh no. Is that game? I think it is. Alright, let's go game three. And done side. Well GG again, even though we're going to game three. Oh, if you didn't have duo for Big Bang Shot. Jeez, that would have been such a cool win. But that's okay. Is he actually... Hmm. 
I believe stupid name. It's a clever name. I believe he's actually siding. But there we go. We'll go first. Finally, we'll go first. I'm feeling super confident about my deck in this game three, especially with this uh, this background music. Pretty awkward hand. Let's set Susa, bait out a nobleman. Let's set Book of Moon. And maybe he'll just set something that Susa can just power over. That'd be pretty cool. Is actually really powerful in goat format. Not much gets over that. But Seuss gets over everything. Start turn one. Standby phase. Nothing. Main phase one. Nothing. Flip summoner. Battle phase. Attack. Destroy. Go ahead and book a moon. Not that uh, I can I can nobleman, but this hand, this deck's giving me really awkward hands. I don't think I built it correctly to say the least. So I'm going to actually I want a heavy storm. No, I don't. I want something. Let's see what he does. Nothing. Activate. So this guy's definitely above average, but I think what I would do is set Heavy Storm if he activates this. If he doesn't activate this, yep, okay, I'm setting Heavy Storm, baiting him, and setting more back run. I'm gonna blow them all away next turn. Oh. Okay, well, he knows I run Scapegoat, <laughs> but he just blind MST'd anyways. That's interesting. That's fine. I don't... Okay. He didn't strike me as that type of player. You know, I'm playing two creature swaps and haven't seen it once. That's kind of annoying. I haven't seen a single creature swap. But I've seen every spirit every game. Start turn, stand by phase. Find out three. Back over to Donny Boy. Okay. Phase two, set one, we'll enter. Yeah, I don't really have another way to deal with my own Abyss Soldier. Call on it to bring back nothing. Hmm. I wonder what he's thinking about in battle phase. He could have desert sunlight. I don't think this guy's vocabulary. He seems pretty good to go. Because spirit. 
So he didn't switch to defense. That's definitely some. Uh, I specifically went lower on the monster count so I wouldn't draw monster heavy hands like this. And I'm drawing monster heavy hands like this. So I'm definitely going to set you. And you'll come back to hand. That puts us even back at even for card advantage. Even through the creature swap, Pot of Greaves, and Rhoda for probably level 2. And Mataza will be great for that. It's gotta be a Mystic Swords or It's gotta be. Exile Force. Oh, even better, baby. Waste of an Exile Force. Oh. Are a priest. That's unfortunate. And we're even in card advantage yet again. Oh. Ooh, graceful charity would be so nice. Fourteen hundo. That's fine. Um, I kind of just want Satsukiyomi right now. Hopefully he doesn't have another card to destroy it. <laughs> I guess I could Satsusa. Got some damage in. I wonder if this is Manet. Spy. I think he sided these in. Set you. Probably should have kept that in hand to save it. Because next turn, I already know, I am drawing with 100% accuracy. I'm drawing Zero Priest this turn. I already know it. <laughs> I already know it. Does he have another creature swap? Oh no, he's DD Whirly, so that's 3,000. Is that game? Yeah, I lost. Let's see if I can't draw, what's it? Oh my goodness, another spirit, another meta. Oh, he has a zero priest. Okay, so that was unfortunate, but we see some things that we need to change. So I'm gonna go back to the deck constructor. Take out you, take out you, take out you. Take out you, take out you. The monster lineup, I'm not upset about. I'm kind of upset about. Take out you. I'm kind of upset about. Do I still need Sanyan? I didn't, I didn't even see half these monsters. I literally saw these two through three games. I saw like six monsters total. I feel like. Okay, what else? Put another soccer at two. Put in another one of those. What else can we put in, guys? I'm gonna fall back on one of my favorite spells Smashing Ground. It's different. I don't think so. We'll put in three copies because I love Smashing Ground. Then we'll put in. I'm gonna put in two more monsters at least. What would be good? Actually, Gravekeeper Spy would be really good. I know I didn't have it before, but I'm gonna put it in now. Um, 
It'd be really good with creature swap because it's just an additional monster. So now I have effectively one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight monsters that work tremendously well with creature swap. So let's save deck. Exit duel room. Post duel. Let's get one more game in. I'm not even gonna play a match out of this one. This is just gonna be a one and done. One and done. Let's see if Oppy. Oppy, you wanna play? Match two out of three. I know Oppy wants two out of three, but I hope he accepts. I'm only playing one, Oppy. Ooh, Sora Key. I like that name. Sora with a keyblade. And it's pouring down rain outside. I was gonna go get food, but no, oh, I was rejected. I was gonna go get food, but it is uh, raining pretty hard. Let me know if you guys like this, uh, this what I think is chill and very relaxing background music. If not, I can throw in something a little bit more high speed. Ooh, Nick Antipy. Never played you before. Let's go. Oh, and we'll go first. Like I said, this is a one and done, and this is the last game for the last game. Oh, don't say good luck, have fun. Don't say it, don't say it, because I want to say it first. Look at that, this hand's tremendous. Got him. I think I can want to start with a spy. So sometimes with hands like this, or if I start with like a pot of greed with tomato and like sangan, I want to get my search off first before I do anything else. And now it's a, now you kind of have to choose. Like I don't want to use pot of greed, I want to make sure that I get my other spy. But now that I set spy and I've made that decision tree, I have to choose between possibly risking a higher percentage of duo hitting pot of greed, or do I set book of moon to help play around a mystic swords in level two? I see he doesn't have a fusion deck, so he's probably playing warriors of some kind. Maybe thunder dragon chaos. If thunder dragon chaos, I kind of win that matchup. Well, at least like the first turn or so, because I can flip spy, grab spy attack over like the, the, the koichi type things. But I think I would rather risk Gravekeeper Spy against a random Mystic Swordsman level 2 as opposed to Pot of Greed against a duo. So let's see how that plays out. He's got upstart. Is this an OTK deck? So already right away I'm thinking some kind of Thunder Dragon Chaos. Maybe Exodia. I don't know. Let's see if he's going to make the last game a fun one. And, oh, he... I should have said the Duel Room. Maybe he'll grab Blade Knight. Oh! Oh, yes! Blade Knight, truly a powerful card. So he'll attack, I'll flip, I'll search. He'll take 400. And I have Creature Swap. I don't want to use Creature Swap, I just want to use a Zerg Priest to attack over his Blade Knight first. But that's very dependent on what he has. And he's only set one. Perfect. Draw. Standby phase. Main phase one. And now we use the Pot of Greed. summon you. Battle phase. Attack. He's got book. Hmm. Do I want to creature swap a gravekeeper spy to him? Now? I'm going to set two. I'm going to set two and risk the heavy storm. I'm lagging. What's happening? Did my internet go out? What is this? Oh, internet's still good. And I'm lagging. My message didn't send. What are you doing? Good. In turn. Okay. I don't know what just happened, but I'm risking the heavy storm. I'm gonna do it. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Every time I risk something, it usually doesn't work out my favor, but we'll see. Okay. Thank you. 
activate phase two. And the reason I activate Heavy Storm there, because I was, there's not a single card in this game that I was afraid of him chaining. So I'll set that, put you two hand. Hopefully he summons BLS somehow. I don't know. Oh. Hopefully he still summons BLS while I have a Zerg Precinct for each poem. Actually, oh, that is awesome. I get to steal Kaiku. He just got rid of all of my darks. That's unfortunate. But it's quite alright. both of his monsters. Oh, that's so nice. And then we're gonna... S yeah, we'll set Magician Faith. Uh, if he has Nobleman, that's unfortunate, but I'm very, very far ahead in cards, regardless, so... I win. And he left. Alright, hey guys, that is gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did watch, let me know what you think. Um, let me know suggestions for the deck. And let me know if you guys want to see me play a specific deck next time. I don't... When I'm doing these dueling book lives, which I do want to do more often, uh, very dependent on work, so it's uh, probably not going to happen more often, give me deck ideas, send me deck lists, send me pictures, whatever kind of stuff, and I will, uh, I'll check it out. But thanks for watching, have a great day, and bye!